Hello and welcome back to Into the Dark Forest. And would you shut up with your tuneless whistle whistling out there? Uh, we're in this very large, odd, blocky building, which is full of hammerites. Um, it feels feels very. Oh, here we've got a different color, different ceiling texture. I don't know, this part feels very unfinished. The mines, the mines is good. The mines was, mines were decorated sparsely, but I never, I mean, I felt a little like I wasn't sure where I was, but I never got lost. Different areas felt different and looked different. And every corridor in this building looks the same. Master Forger Fingo, since we cannot extend the mines in the Southeast because of the cataracts, I propose thee to dig north. The layers of coal are deep in that direction. Also, there is no underground water in that area, and the risk of our tunnels being inundated is low. All the water drains slowly into the cataracts, and we can dig ditches to divert the water through there, Anderton. Does that tell me, then, that north is where the mines continue, or is north the mines I came from? I don't know. It's pretty dark in here. Um... I do like, I mean, this obviously is some kind of temporary. Ah, oh, hello. You're one of the two I heard whistling. It does seem that these continue north. I'm not going to be able to sneak past you, am I? Maybe I'll avoid you. There's someone else running around there. Let's go around and check. Out this door. Be vigilant. Ah, you were not vigilant and your shield failed you. So you get a bonus holiday. Alright, there is still that other one wandering around. I just realised I've left my rope arrow behind. That's not actually a problem, because I've still got 13 of them, right? It's not a problem at all in a serious way. But what the coral, uh, the coral, well, what's the word? Corollary. Oh. Uh oh. Is this sitting north or, or what? This is. So I guess this comes out, yeah, below the building. Oh, there is some something there. Yeah, the diamond. Let's just slip through this floorboard. Okay, so we can continue that way. There's also a guard patrolling up the top. Oh, a hammerite. So he would probably see me if I tried to go too far out. What was he saying? Something about. Oh yeah, I know. I never. Um... Oh, I didn't even explore this room. I did come into it from a different direction, I think, before. Maybe from here? I saw this path, but it didn't come this way before. Ah, why are you storing useless sacks of things that there's no value to me? Hardly fair. Oh. Where are you patrolling? Don't know. Hearing another person as well. Hello there. Must you put noisy metal floor in like this? Jump in! I dare you. No, he won't. He got 
both refuse to be helpful. As far forward as I dare. He stands in front of this one. Oh, he's got a welding mask. Oh, he doesn't have a weapon. Is that me? Or maybe that is a weapon. Ooh, ouch. It's hot. I mean, yeah, it should have been obvious it's hot. Let's look, let's look at how brightly it's got glowing. You fool. Stay well away from the uh, big glowing metal thingies. Two mines. Unlike the coal mines and gold mines and silver mines and diamond mines, these are explodium mines. Oh, hello. I'm one of our worker friends. You do have a uh, an odd squeal, you know. Actually, one of the hilarious sounds. And I can't imitate it very well at all. Oh, hello. So this is heading back south. Now, here's my problem. I'm confused. I don't know which way south is relative to where I want to be. More crates of hammers. How many hammers do you guys need? That's what all these forges are for. Making more hammers. Alright, was there any other path from here or is it just... Yes, there is. And I've been here. Okay. So, as I've said, oh, we're back at the front. As I said, I didn't get my rope, which is not a big deal, but I can get it it's quite safely, so let's get it. Um, but there's also a lift up there, which I have not been to, which I did want to explore. This is just over here, over this way. Well, maybe it's not a lift, maybe it's just a shaft. Because if it's a lift, I can't see any buttons. Maybe they plan to install a lift later, but they have. Oh! <laughs> there's a ladder, I'm a fool. Put a rope arrow in, and there's a ladder. Garrett, you are useless sometimes. All right, some more. So that's north. So stand forth, help thief. Oh, hello. You shouldn't be in the water, I don't think. Feels like you shouldn't be in the water. But um, be glad, man, that you're not drowning. Now it's a problem for me, though. That is a problem for me because if I wish to, if the, if I wish to wade through that water, he will definitely outrun me because I'll get slowed down by wading and he won't. He's, I think he's also stuck between the edge and the boat, but maybe not if... He kind of feels pretty stuck. Well... I could flash bomb him. Or I could be really, really mean here. Very mean. Very mean. Garrett, how can you do such a thing? Um, right, well that answered my question as to the shaft, the lift shaft. It just has a ladder. It's a nearly invisible ladder. So, bear with me one more second. I'm just trying to get my bearings. So I came from the east. Did I go this way? I 
don't know. Is this the garden which our hello friend was at? No. This is uh, a garden with cliffs that I should be able to climb in mantle but can't. I kind of maybe can. Yeah, it's like the angle's kind of too... Oh, the ground is not quite flat enough. That's awkward. I guess I can go up and around. So it's not game breakingly bad. I'm very lost. Oh, I feel like I have been here. Does this connect back to uh, where our friend, the other garden? Yes, no, no. Oh, well, this is where I came in. Right, and this is, is this where our Hammerite friend, who I just murdered, was? Or just an entirely other house? Why would they build this underground? That candle has a light, but no, it's not lit. All right, loot, loot, give me more loot. Well, the flash bomb was, it's not bad either. You're not supposed to see me there, that's, Problem. Ah. I'm not even here, all right? It's your imaginings. You're lucky. You get to live. You even get to sleep comfortably on a bed. Why do these light up? Can I frob them to light them up again? I hope not, because that's... Alright, I guess... Uh, I feel like we're kind of in this area. Or maybe we're in this area? Or are we in this area? Or this one? Hammerite village? There's two villages, that's just confusing me. Is this Shamrock and this the Hammerite one? Or is this... Oh, I don't know. Or are we in the forest? Alright, at the moment I have no real clue as to... Do I see a Hammerite there? I'll just the footsteps, yes. Oh well, you fell in a nice dark location. All right, so I've been here because you were patrolling up here, and I was in this area, as evidence by somebody else knocked out. Down there is, I think, where our waterlogged, exploded hemorrhoid friend is. Down there seemed to connect as well. Seemed to have another passage off it. No, that's not where he was, because he was by a boat. Oh, I'm all this all, all these little places feel the same. It's confusing. That's not what I meant to do. But I did it. Oh, just... Look, I meant to do it. See? I came to collect the water arrow. That's obviously what I meant to do. But uh, no, I slipped in because the edge was sloped and I wasn't I tried to back up too slowly. So I guess that's just, I can just get back out here. On the plus side, I now have more water arrows. I 
Well, I probably want to be on the upper level here. Which I could find my way around through through the building, but that's probably easier just to do this. Yeah, there's a sloping edge there, which is not immediately obvious, and I that I literally fell for. All right. So this passage then, how have I been here? Is this where our murder time right friend is now? Oh, this is this one. This is the one I was just at. Okay, so I, didn't, I should have turned right instead of uh, coming back down this passage. Should have come in here. Oh no. Can you guys swim? Can you see me? I feel like I'm a bit too close now. Maybe I can entice you to swim. Can you swim? Or maybe I can be super... Oh. Ouch. Maybe I can be super sneaky and knock you out. No! Garrett, you fool. Stop trying to show off. Uh, I've got healing potions, so uh, there's not even anything up here to compensate for that. It's just, just Garrett and his foolishness. Well, let that be a lesson to you, Garrett. Ah, here is where our hammer friend was. Okay, so if I'd been super clever, I could have led him into that uh, frog beast. Alright, so being in all these buildings, was there anywhere else to go in this section? If not, where's the way forward? Because there's a passage to the south, right? Let's go to the passage to the south. Actually, let's have another healing potion. So I think that was just going around in circles in a dead end and was not going to help me. But if I come all the way through here... Then I feel like there was a southward face or northward facing passage that I haven't been to. Or maybe I'm misremembering. That just goes back to the front when I first came into this place. Maybe I'm thinking of this passage. No, nope, this is this is just this one. What am I thinking of? There were stairs. Where where were the stairs? Here are the stairs. So when Okay, this is just this piece. I've been there. This is the same bit. So maybe I have been to everywhere this connects to. Maybe this isn't going to get me anywhere. Um, I read that. I'm very confused. I don't really know what... I'm not sure which part of the map I'm in. Probably this? There was somewhere there was a way down as well. Ladders down into a flooded section of caves. Was that in the metal bit, bit, metal floor bit or not? Maybe? Right, this is the passage, passage of south that I hadn't been to. 
Yeah, okay. And into a flooded part of uh, the map. Very flooded. Splish. Well, let's make sure I get my breath potion handy so I don't have to fumble for it. If, in case it turns out I need it. And let's go swimming! Oh, I don't think I'll need it. This is fine. This is more than fine. This is valuable. Look. There's... A skull! But more importantly, there's a diamond. Well, I'm not, we're still, I guess, in underwater caves. So I guess we're here now. And I suppose... I mean, this is probably the closest way to where the mages are, which is my objective, right? We've got to get the uh, secret correspondence from the mages. The skull of the interpreter is presumably in this village, so... Maybe I do have to come this way as well. But we're in the flooded caves. So let's remain in the flooded caves for now. Oh, until I guess we found the passage out. Well, that's interesting. The water table is that level here, but this is dry. I guess it must drain pretty easily. No 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 Spiders. It strikes me, you know, that if I was... It's a, it's a balance to strike, right? Because I made a no spider mod for Thief because I hate spiders. Alright, it's hunting now. I really don't like them. Uh, if they're... If they don't see me and I can just shoot them from a distance with my arrows and then just kind of go past not looking at them, it's fine. I can deal with it. Um, it's still searching, I think. Or maybe it's stuck. But um, it looks like it's trying to get back, but it's stuck. If I give it a minute to calm down, I may be able to sneak up on it. But uh, I really don't like them. I can kind of vaguely deal with them under limited parameters. But then another friend of mine is... Ah, oh look, I've got over the ledge that was stuck on. He's very arachnophobic and did not want to play Thief at all as long as there were spiders in it. So I made a spider mod. It was very first, well, actually technically second, uh, foray into the drama. It was my very first use of the object system. I had no idea what I was doing. But it turned all the spiders into... Uh, I didn't know how to destroy them, so I just turned them into small little objects that were kind of a flower. Like a, originally a flower bed thing. Alright, he was up there. And of course there's a mushroom, so you step out of the passage, and it's bright light. And it sees you right away. Can I hear it? Is it just standing there waiting to, waiting to see me? No. Ugh. Sorry, uh... Ugh. That was a that was a very unpleasant angle to view it from. It's dead now. It's dead now. In fact, I don't even have to go back that way. Well, let's just come this way first and 
see. I guess I should be aware for more spiders. Feels like there's going to be more spiders in here. Okay, right, get up there. Somebody cocooned. Oh, there's. Oh, yes. Look at them all. Is that one hunting now? Or is it oblivious to its friend dying? Can't quite tell. They usually like stick up their forelegs when they're hunting. It's hunting, it's coming for me. Oh no, it's dead too. Good. Two more dead spiders is a good result. You didn't have any money I needed you, sir. Are there any more in this section? I don't see any. I think this just connects us where I was. Yeah, there's the skull. Alright. So there's one more arm of this tunnel before I come in here. There's another arm of this tunnel that went upwards, which I feel like I should check out. Uh, or maybe there are two more arms of this tunnel. Two more arms of this tunnel as it was. There's this one that goes up and there's that other one there. There's going to be more spiders up here, aren't there? No, oh, people. Mages? Well, a fall from this height could hurt. Oh, hello. That must be the uh, keeper's grotto. All right, those are both good places to be. Come back there in just a minute. Where does this final arm go? real question is not where does this go, is have I dealt with all the spiders? I don't see any down this passage. Well, I could jump. Hmm. Could stick ropes in the roof. Where does this take me? Well, here's a good reason to have 14 rope arrows. I can't jump to that one. I might be able to jump to that one. Oh, that's just the same passage there. Okay. I was looking to see if it was the same ledge, but I couldn't see the tunnel. All right. Um, ugh. Somebody fell from that height then. It didn't do them any good. I feel like the mages area is just over that way as well. How am I going to navigate this? Well, all right, so first thing, I don't need both those ropes. In fact, I don't think I need either of them. I can probably get them both back by careful jumping, jump frogging. Good. Um. Oh, there's ladders. Well, there's a ladder to there. Not sure there's a ladder on that one. Is that another passage? That is another passage. That fall looks do looks survivable. Let's let's just try it. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, yes, it's survivable. Oh, hello. You're not my friend. Dang it. Didn't mean to get you all angry. So now you're going to be hunting, and now you're going to be on the alert, and now you're going to be take more to kill. Still 24, but if you take like five of them, that's really not good. Now oh, then, I could just jump into the water. Nobody ever. Uh, had a problem jumping into a deep pit, right? It was never dangerous to get out of it.
So up here was the keeper side. Oh, I can't mantle that. It slopes in much too much. Oh, this could be a problem. Are any of these vertical edges, or am I, am I just stuck here because it's not built to be mantleable? Because if so, that's a definitely a black mark on the design. A big pool like this invites the player to jump in. I don't see any uh, loot, or maybe there's a passage out. No, it's just a big cone. Big inverted multi-sided pyramid. That I'm stuck in. I'm not sure whether it's just too high to mantle or whether the slope is a problem, but those two together... Leaves me... Ugh. Alright, I can... Kind of walk out. That's really awkward. That should have been fixed. These these are also really bad because the sharp edge means you try and metal on it and you unless you hit it just the right height you will get stuck with half your body underneath and half your body above them. Alright, that's the keepers up there. So this fellow fellow, because he fell. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Um well he made a fire down here before he died, but he didn't have any loot. Alright. Thankfully, new mantle makes these ledges a little more, a little safer, I think, than old mantle, whatever. And I think I can put ropes in them. But, problem. I can put ropes in them. If I, if I strafe, strafe and jump a lot, I can just get out. Because it's not a straight edge, mantling onto it only works at a particular, very particular height. And if you're too low, you just bounce off. So, uh, get it basically at eye level and it will work, but go much above eye level or much below and it will fail. So I guess that connects back to the spider tunnels. So, we could go there, but let's see what our friends the keepers have for us. Here lies our beloved brother, Interpreter Tokra, in life and death, forever servant of the glyphs. Oh. Hang on, didn't you, didn't you have a supply cache? That's the prayer book, not my journal. My journal, I wrote down. See, I wrote this. I wrote that uh, you have safety and supplies and you keep our outpost in the caves. There's no safety here, there's no supplies. Just an empty chest. It's even lying to me. See, here lies our beloved brother. Curse you keepers. There's a reason nobody likes the keepers. And it's mostly because Garrett is just uh, an arrogant fool, but uh, it's not the only reason. All right, that's where the spider was. <laughs> Ouch, that, I didn't think that would hurt. <clears throat> I didn't think that would hurt, but okay. Hmm, maybe there is... Maybe there's supplies there. Let's see if I can get up on this sledge. Without the spider... ...seeing me first. Get it just at eye level. beast and it, it got me too let's uh, heal I suppose yeah and there's nothing here just a spider's little hideout so I'm gonna go back down so I guess I swim again and then have difficulty getting out after Spam. Oh, I can actually walk up that corner, can I? 
All right, so now I can't. If I kind of jump and hold forward and jump a bit, I can get out there, but mostly it's very awkward. Okay. I had a gas arrow, I could have gassed the spider, I suppose. It's a problem, I never, gas arrows are so rare, I never remember I have them. I've got two now. And so I usually never use them until the end of the mission, it's kind of ironic. It's like, oh great, found a gas arrow. That's not the skull I'm looking for. This looks spidery. Maybe not. More caves. Watery caves. Make sure we don't miss anything in the water. There's a skull we're looking for and there's loot we're looking for. And I just realized that I did find the area where the mages were, right? And I should have gone to check it out. It's just up back that way. Well, we'll go there eventually. Hello? Where does this take us? Uh, this looks hazardous. Very hazardous. No air pockets. This could be the death of you, Garrett. Although I've got a breast potion, so I guess I might as well use it now. Ah, oh, there's a way up. Ugh. A long way up. Well, maybe I'm not going back that way. Well, I could probably make it without the breast potion if I'm going back. Oh, what? Oh no, okay. Different skeleton. I thought this was the guy and thought this is just the guy who fell from the uh, keeper's area. But that's different cave, different skeleton. He won't need that anymore. And he won't be needing his loot, and he won't be needing his fire, he won't be needing his book, so I'll read it. This route through the caves is much worse than the Shalebridge old route. Wilcox be damned for guiding me through here. After I lost almost all my merchandise in the inundated portion of the tunnels, now I face hordes of barracks blocking my way out. Since I used all my breath potions, there's no way back. Hungry and ruined, I have to find a way through the damned creatures or I'll starve in here. You lost all your, uh... You lost all your merchandise in the inundated portions, did you? Alright, this is barracks. Um, so this is all this section of the caves, I guess. Probably. Loot, you said. There's, you've, you've lost stuff in here. Is there stuff for me to find in here? Is this is this very foolish of me to attempt going back? Don't say yes. Do you just like drop fall to the floor down here? I don't see anything. It's almost half my breath gone. Let's try that, but a little more quickly next time. There's a long way down into the caves. I don't see any loot at all. I'm kind of cheesing this by uh, strafing, but it's still, even with that, it's still a very long way up to the air. Yeah, oh, too long. Too long. I don't see any loot there at all, right? Did I miss something? Did I miss something in here? I don't think so. Lost all your merchandise, you say. 
Well, I think I still have a healing potion, don't I? No, I don't. Oh well, maybe I should have used a speed potion. That would have got me through the water faster. However, as I pointed out, the mages were just up here, so I should probably try and get back up here to deal with them. Actually, no, that, that's easier. Oh, that's easier, is it? No, it doesn't reach all the way. It's much too high. Um, fine, I wasted a rope power. It can stay. Where's the way out? I guess we go... I think it's up there. Fundamentaling. Okay, don't, don't fall back down again. Alright. Well, the rope goes far enough, actually. So, skip that first ledge, go straight to this one again. Get it at eye level, look straight and level. Don't look at the spider. And come up here. Right, so this is where I came in and sort of keep us from. Now that, that passage there, uh, which I, I don't remember seeing. Did I come this way? Surely just as part of the same tunnels. Yeah, okay, so, that's, hang on. That's another way to go, yeah. This was the way to the mages. So we have the road with the two spiders, we have the... This leads to the keeper's cave, right? Oh. Right, yeah. This one led to the mages. Maybe they weren't mages? There was somebody here. Oh, is that a keeper? So maybe this is the keeper supply post. Are you friendly? Friendly? Friendly. Thank goodness somebody's glad to see me, or at least completely indifferent to my presence. Thank you, I might need that. We've been fighting the Trickster's minions for five days, repelling them over and over again. I don't know for how long we can last. The attack seems to have ceased for a while. It's obvious now that the Skull is no longer safe here. We sent a message yesterday to keep Asamus to send us help. The artifact should be moved to another safe location. We've got news from the Keeper Council today. An expedition will be sent to the city with the artifact. We have to start the preparations soon. This Saturday brings us the sad news. Our brothers were ambushed mercilessly yesterday near Shamrock Village. The artifact was lost. Those who survived barely escaped with their lives. We need greater numbers and superior skills, or all hope is lost. Sanders. Well, I've got the superior skills. I'm not sure about the numbers. Yeah. Yeah, I will gladly take healing and uh, breath potions and things. Any more supplies for me? No. Oh, blocks. Didn't actually mean to fall in yet. Shit, uh, slippery slope. Well, I'm heading for the south. Um, we've still got the exit with the spiders. We've got the underwater passage, which I don't know where it leads me. Although, suggesting this, maybe that is leading me to, to the mages or to the forest? Now we've got this way and then we've got this lake. Is there anything in here or is it just, is it just a dead end? Any passages? I don't see any passages. Good. Scratch that off. 
But we found the Keeper Supply Station. So maybe they weren't lying. Maybe I was, you know, I'll take back that accusation that they lied about the Supply Station. They merely... Um, it's a spider or a plant? It's a barrel. Gary, you're too suspicious. So we've got the Burrick Path, if we go through the water. Which is where the merchants were. We've got the spider path. And we've got this with eight beasts or something, I guess. Yep, I hear eight beasts. I don't see them. Let's check the other arm, it probably just connects around. Hello. Uh, hello. That's very odd. I could go down there, but I couldn't get back. I wouldn't be able to get back up, I don't think. Unless I'm very precise with the rope arrow. That's not a rope arrow. I think that alerted somebody. Where does that even go? Yeah, I didn't even know I had a noisemaker. Whoops, silly Garrett. Rope arrow, please. Well, that might be doable. No, it's too too far. Too close to the edge. Kind of went over the center, it's very hard to judge. Uh, okay, let's try that. Alright, that works. A little wiggle. Oh. Oh. Alright. So this is just the spider cave and I didn't look up. And um, bollocks. If I had looked up it wouldn't have helped because I can't get back out that way. Well, at least I know the way back there. No, not a gas arrow. Rip. Rip. This is good too. I like these these ledges are I mean narratively there's no reason for them to exist, right? But they're nice climbable ledges or ropeable. Again, they should have been a bit of a flat cylinder so they have a flat edge to be a little more easily mantle mantleable, less risk of bouncing off when trying to mantle, but they're not bad, it's and it's fun climbing. I like these caves. Hi dude. I mean, I say I like these caves, there's, I'm lost, I don't know where I'm going, I don't really have a sense of where I'm trying to get to, or anything. Was this, was this the way I just came? Uh, yes, my river is here. Temporary confusion. So that's a very weird hole, that, uh, now that kind of feels like a bug rather than intentional. It does connect, and it kind of connects in a cool way, but uh, well maybe it's there to the tricky thing to going down and falling onto the spider and then running in fear and falling to your death, or being lucky and falling into the water. I don't know. Either way. Oh, hello. I see you, though. Uh, arrow in the roof. Rip arrow in the roof. Sure. Is that long? No, it's not far enough. Dang, alright, I'm gonna need one here. Thought I could get by without more of this awkward mantling. Another dead eight beast, huh? Got some loot. See, if that had a flat edge, you could jump and mantle to it, but with a sharp edge, it's absolutely unsafe to try and do so. And I guess I need to go back down now. Can 
I get down safely? All right, I guess I can, I can rope down. Maybe. It's always awkward. <clears throat> well, I can do that, you know. I used that healing potion I got already, didn't I? Dang it. All right. Well, if we're heading to areas with Trickster's minions, maybe they have more plumsies for me to munch on for the nomsies. All right, that's not, that's not good. All right, I feel like... I feel like I've exhausted that. Well, I have a niggling feeling that there's a uh, still a passage that way that I haven't been into. I didn't miss any more healing potions or anything in here, right? Right? Dang. Um, but I guess I need to carry on. Through the flooded, through the flooded area, I guess. Was that here? No, there was nothing here but the keeper's area. Where was the flooded area again? That's the keeper's. There's this bit I haven't been to. Although I did come this way, right? Because it just connects. I can't remember. I can't remember where that uh, underwater passage I found was anymore. Oh well. Let's see what's hiding up on this ledge. I suppose I could put this one, I could stick a rope in the roof instead of doing this awkward. Awkward mantling. Nice dark ledge with which to bypass the spiders. Cool. Good if I was good if I was trying to sneak. Well, dead barracks. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you'll join me soon for the next one.